Yo, what's up? Sadat X, originally from the Bronx, grew up in New Rochelle. Been out in Brooklyn for a while. This is my Brooklyn story. Coming from uptown, whenever we came downtown, you knew once you got past 42nd Street, that was Brooklyn. Latin Quarters, Union Square, and listen, you already know them dudes from Brooklyn gonna be there. If you have any problems wearing this jewelry, take it off. So you already knew going downtown that it was gonna be a strictly Brooklyn situation. I've seen dudes in them clubs take jewelry from people and then fight with each other for the jewelry that they took. Brooklyn dudes, back then, they slow gashed. Very friendly, like, in the club. Yo, where, where you from? This and that, very friendly. You think you was cool with somebody from Brooklyn? Next thing you know, they was in your pocket. Girls from Brooklyn, when I was coming up, this is like 86, 87, high school years. Very fashionable. Big earrings, gold two for two. Fila sweatsuits, very beautiful. But they would lure you. It was always tales of, of girls from Brooklyn luring you to these way out outposts in Brooklyn. And you know, like coming from uptown, on the train, coming out here to some of these places was like, where? Like, how long? I remember I met this girl from Red Hook. Her name was Red, very beautiful. She was like, come on out to Brooklyn. She's telling me she lived in Red Hook. She just said Red Hook. She didn't say Red Hook Project, she said Red Hook. So I'm just thinking Red Hook is a place. I didn't know when I was going to Red Hook, it was gonna be a million dudes in front of the building. It wasn't like you had a cell phone that was readily available like that. You might have to go to the phone booth. Red Hook got a million buildings over there. To me, it just looked like a super never-ending project. I call her on the phone, and she's like, nah, just come to the building, this and that. She didn't tell me she had three brothers. I didn't know that part before the journey. And she tells me like, it's about four buildings I'm looking at from the thing. And three of them don't have nobody in front of it. One of them got about 100 people in it. And I'm like, yo, please not, don't let it be that building right there. And she's like, oh, no, 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 boom, it's, the, it's that building. Back then in the days, if you wasn't from over there, they knew you wasn't from over there. They knew. They're like, yo, what up? Yo, you good, son? Who you coming to see? I'm like, I'm going to see John. They're like, oh, where are you going to see, huh? Go ahead. I get upstairs. I'm, I'm with Shorty. Like somehow, she like her bro I guess her brothers and them are around the area. I, I'm hearing the argument. She's like, no, no. Her brother and them like, I don't give a fuck who that is upstairs. Who man? You gonna do it? I'm. I'm like, oh shit. And I just remember, like I stayed up there and I'm trying to wait these dudes out. I'm like, whenever they move, I'm a move. It's like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, it's still lit. But finally, I, I had to call my man. I was like, yo, please, yo, come to Brooklyn and get me. He's like, where you at, Red Hook? I gotta come out to Red Hook. I'm like, yo, please. It was a side exit. And I went out the side, yo. And I felt like, I was like, damn, man, like, they got me under pressure, but that's how it was, man. Like, some battles, you, you gotta pick and choose your battles, yo. I, it, was, it wasn't a win there for me. I'm Sadat X, and this is my Brooklyn story.